What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about some NFL news. We're also going to be talking about Martha Ford and her time as the Detroit Lions owner. So let's get it started. So welcome in everybody to another video. Glad you guys are here. Now before we get this thing started, I want to let you guys know that I do have a really different type of video in the works. It's just not out yet because I haven't finished the video. I'm trying to work around some of the NFL copyright issues. Amen. But when I get past those, the video will come out. It's going to be a lot different than what we've seen before, but I kind of want to try to mix it up because we know it's the off season, right? It's July. July is probably going to be the most boring month until the end of July when training camp starts. So there's not a lot going on. So I want to try to find different ways to keep you guys entertained and you guys keeping up with the content. So I'm going to try some new things and uh, we'll just see how they go you know I don't know what the heck sports gonna be like we'll just have to wait and see what happens I, I don't know it'll probably start off slow because new things usually start off slow and you kind of have to build them up but uh, I do have a couple of different ideas so keep in mind there will be new things coming I'm definitely trying it but right now we have a couple of other things we need to talk about so as we know Martha Ford stepped down as Detroit Lions owner about two days ago and today I just kind of want to give my thoughts on Martha Ford and her time as a Detroit Lions owner but before we do that before we do that, I want to talk about an NFL source and an article that came out today. So NFL source that was apparently on Adam Schefter's podcast said this. The NFL is going to play, Adam. I'm very certain of it. Have faith in the league. The process and testing and protocols are exceptional. You should see and hear how much is being done. Daily saliva test and PCR every three days, sanitizing everything, including balls. You can't believe all that's being done and prepared. So that is someone, uh, an NFL source said that, I guess on Adam Schefter's podcast about the NFL season, believing that there will be an NFL season. And me personally, I also believe there will be an NFL season in 2020. I don't follow baseball that that closely, but I did hear that baseball is somewhat returning July 1st. I think it's practice or something like that. But that's starting to come back. Uh, I've actually seen golf. You know, they've been playing. And I've actually seen fans there. I don't know if that was live or not. We know NFL, NBA is supposed to take off again at the end of July. And even training camp is expected potentially July 28th. So think Things are starting to come back and start again, and it looks like the end of July, everything may be kicking off again. So I do believe there will be a season in 2020, which is great for the Lions and for other teams. Now let's talk about the Detroit Lions' old owner. Well, it was their, their owner. That is Martha Ford. So Martha Ford, as I said, stepped down about two days ago as the Detroit Lions' owner, but she was only the Lions' owner for about five seasons, for about five NFL seasons. She took over when her husband passed away. Rest in peace to her husband. But she took over the Detroit Lions in 2014. And I think we try to put like all of the Fords into one, but I think we also need to understand that Martha Ford wasn't the same owner. When Martha Ford was here, I thought she actually did a lot of good things for us. I mean, she wasn't perfect. She didn't make every single perfect decision, okay? We don't actually know everything that she did, but we do know that the short lines weren't too bad when she was here, and I liked a lot of things that she did do. She showed that she wasn't afraid to make big decisions. She wasn't afraid to fire people. She wanted to win football games. I mean, that's the vibe that I got from Martha Ford, and that's why I have a lot of high hopes for her daughter as well, because she came in in 2014, her first season with the Detroit Lions. In 2014, we went 11 and five. Now, she may not have the direct impact on that, but keep in mind, 11 and five is one of the best records the Lions have ever had in their franchise. It may not sound great, but it's true. That's one of the best records they've ever had. I think the best record they've ever had in the 16 game you know, format is 12 and four. I believe that is the best record they've ever had. 11 and five doesn't happen a lot, Detroit. It hasn't happened a lot. And 11 and five, you know, going to a playoff game, you probably, probably should have won that playoff game. Either way, it was a very competitive game. And that was your first season as a Detroit Lions owner. And obviously that went pretty darn well. And then you look at her next season as Detroit Lions owner in 2015, the Lions started off one and seven, but she didn't just say, you know what, I'm okay with that. She didn't just let it happen. And while this change may not have had the, all the impact on why the Detroit Lions turned around her season, it didn't have to have some impact because she woke up everybody, right? She may not have fired the people that were the reason that they were losing at the time, but it woke up every single person. They got everybody like, oh snap, we better start winning some football games because I might get fired. And that's what she did. So you start off one and seven. She decides to fire the team president, Tom Lee Wan. She also fires the general manager. She fires the general manager, Martin Mayhew. She fires two of the biggest people in the Detroit Lions organization because she wasn't just okay with losing games. She wanted to make a statement. And for those people out there that say, oh yeah, she, you know, she won't fire anybody. Her daughter's just gonna let it happen. If she's like Martha, I'm gonna love it because Martha wanted to win football games. If she didn't care, she probably would have let, okay, you know, let it, let it go. We'll get a higher pick in the draft. We'll tank. It is what it is. But she said, no, I'm not okay with this. She fired them midway through the season and made changes midway through the season. Detroit Lions ended up finishing that season, winning six of their last eight games, 
finishing seven and nine. Now that's definitely a turnaround. Then after the season, we saw Ndonik and Sue lead. Now Ndonik and Sue uh, was offered $102 million by the Detroit Lions. He accepted $114 million from the Miami Dolphins. She said that she was a very big fan of his. And uh, two weeks later, he left. Two weeks later, he left the Detroit Lions. But that's a big loss. I mean, that's Ndonik and Sue, one of your star players. You lose Ndonik and Sue, and then you go to 2016, where they hire Bob Quinn as their new general manager. So they get their new general manager for 2016, and the Lions are back in the playoffs. They're nine and seven. So two of the three years you're a playoff, team and the year you weren't a playoff team you fired them and you went they went six and two afterwards so you weren't you wanted to win games you hired a new general manager in 2016 and Bob Quinn who I would say he's done a pretty nice job at the Detroit Lions I like what Bob Quinn has done um I know it's very controversial him getting rid of Jim Caldwell but when you look at just his drafts and you know players he signed I, I've honestly liked it you know I've liked the drafts they've made players that have still had an impact he's hit on some mid-round picks he's had some struggles I would say in the second round right so hopefully that gets better but aside from really the second round and a little bit of the first round, I would say he's been actually pretty solid, right? No, no GM hits on every pick. Most GMs miss on a lot of picks if you go look at it. I've actually compared Bob Quinn to a lot of other general managers, so if you don't believe me, go check out that video. I'm not gonna do it again because it took forever, but I did a video and I compared him to like, you know, the Patriots, because actually the Patriots general manager is Bill Belichick, I believe. And then I compared him to the Steelers and teams like that. I mean, his drafts have been pretty darn good. So 2016, she hires a new general manager. Lines go 9-7. They're back in the playoffs. And then you look at 2017. You know, that's 2017's 9-7 once again. And then that is when, you know, after the season, Bob Quinn decided to move on from Matt, from Jim Caldwell. And then they brought in Matt Patricia for the 2018 season. And it's been those two cents. So obviously, you know, we got to see what they can do. But the time that she was here, you know, I, I just don't think it's fair to say, you know, she didn't care about losing. She didn't care about any of that. I think she definitely cared about winning football games. And uh, she probably, you know, with Bob Quinn made that decision. Okay, we'll move on from Jim Caldwell because Bob Quinn's reason for moving on Jim Caldwell was that he wasn't beating playoff teams. He wasn't beating teams that were plus 500 and he wanted to do that. You know, he was a, he was like, yeah, we're beating the bad teams, but we can't beat good teams, right? We can't beat competitive and versus really good teams because we had a really bad record against good teams. It was pretty bad against playoff teams. And that was his reason for firing him, even though he had a pretty nice record. So we'll see how it turns out, but she definitely cares about winning it. She wants, she wanted to take it to the next level. And I'm hoping her daughter is like, that as well. That's why I have high hopes for a dollar she Sheila Ford Hamp because honestly I liked what Martha Ford did. I, I really think Martha Ford did good things with Detroit Lions. You know, she didn't just stay stagnant and say, oh whatever happens, happens. She made moves, she made things happen, and uh the Lions were successful for a few years. You know, now we gotta see if Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn move pays off. Uh we'll see how, where that goes. But again, you know, they made the joint decision to bring them back. So they're hoping that these are the guys uh, for the future. And I hope they are as well. I think we all hope they are because we want to be consistently successful. So we'll see what happens. But I do think Martha Ford did a lot better than a lot of people said. I don't think she did the best. I don't think she did bad either. So as my thoughts on Martha Ford and her time, her five seasons with the Detroit Lions as the owner. And yes, the NFL season looks like it will return. So that's awesome. Let your thoughts, comments below. Thank you for watching. And I'm out.